This is Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and today I'm going to break down what's a real interesting game between two teams in a conference that have done extremely well the last couple of years. It's a game between the Houston Cougars at home, laying two and a half against Memphis. Now, before I break down and predict this game, I want to let you know we have cooking at Paramount Sports this weekend. Well, it's my world's famous Baker's Dozen. That's right, we've now won seven out of eight weeks this season. And you get 13 games, just $97. And I'm going to even up the ante even further. If I don't have a winning Baker's Dozen, if I don't have a winning record for you on these 13 games, you'll get the following week for free. I'm that sure I'm going to have a huge weekend here in college football in the NFL on Saturday and Sunday. How do you get it? ParamountSports.com or 800-400-9741. Now, on to this game on Thursday night. Between the Houston Cougars at home, laying two to two and a half against Memphis. Now, Memphis, they won last week over previously undefeated Navy by three points, but they did it with a 5 1 turnover advantage. If that happens again, they should win the game by 20 or 30 points. Riley Ferguson, their quarterback, really good quarterback, but he was dinged up last week. He was hobbled around. For most of the game, especially the second half, didn't look the same. Uh, And he's going to be going up against the Houston secondary, already nine interceptions on the year. That's their strength. It's also the third road game in four weeks for this Memphis team. And also, Houston looking to just pay back Memphis after they lost last year, 48-44. to So, Houston lost last week to Tulsa. You know they probably were looking ahead to this week. I'm going to lay the two and a half points. I think they win this game 35-30. Take the Houston Cougars on Thursday night. If you want to get involved with Paramount Sports and get my, my world famous Baker's Dozen, ParamountSports.com or 800-400-9741. Start winning today.